Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Hacker 101. All right, so today um, we're going to continue in our playlist. Here we've been hacking Metasploitable 2. If you don't know what that is, that is a it is a vulnerable operating system that is vulnerable on purpose for you to use tools like Metasploit to learn how to hack various services on the Metasploitable 2 server. And, and if you haven't been following along in the playlist, you can go back to the beginning of the playlist and um, I show you how to install Metasploitable 2. All right, before we get started, I want to um, just make sure you guys know, watch the video from the beginning all the way till the end. If you, if you don't go to the end, you may miss something and you, you may not get this hack right. Um, so, um, all right, also, um, you should always have permission before you perform any type of hacking on any environment, any computer or whatnot. Um, you should always have an agreement with a client uh, you know, that you're performing a pen test for, or you should have permission before you perform any of these tests. Um, so if you will, go ahead and um, let's load up Kali Linux. Everything we need is, in, is already installed in Kali Linux, so we don't have to install anything. And like I said, we're going to, I'm going to show you guys how to hack VNC, the virtual network computing um, um, application or service. And what this is for, this is for you um, to build a remote control, you know, your computer remotely, um, if you're not familiar with what VNC is. All right, so first thing, let's just go up, we're going to, we're going to load up um, our command, load up a terminal, and we're going to, we're going to run an nmap scan on my Metasploitable to server and I'm going to show you. So I'll do nmap. I'm going to type in the IP address of my Metasploitable server and I'm going to do a service scan. So dash S dash capital V and I only want to scan port 5900. That is the VNC port. So we're going to run a scan nmap IP address of your Metasploitable 2 server. We're going to do a service scan. We want to look at the services that are running on port 5900. This should be pretty quick. All right, so you see we have VNC. VNC is running and it's open on this Metasploitable 2 server. And so when you find this, um, you know, maybe you're scanning a server for your client during a pen test, you know, you know, what do you do at this point? So VNC, the way it works, is when you install it on your remote machine, you set up a, a password so you can log into that, v, um, that VNC connection on your remote server or computer. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Metasploit to perform a dictionary attack against that password for VNC on this Metasploitable 2 server. And you, you would do this for your client you know, during a pen test. All right, so let's just um, type msf console to load up Metasploit. All right, and then once we get Metasploit loaded up, then we're going to search for the VNC login scanner. And then we'll set some options and then we'll be able to run through uh, a password list to check passwords to see if there are any valid passwords for this VNC server. All right, so here we here we have uh, Metasploit um, loaded up. So let's do, we want to look for the VNC scanner. So let's do grep scanner. And then we're going to do search VNC. We want to, we want to, we're searching for VNC scanner. And grep is going to allow us to kind of narrow down the results so we don't get a hundred results. So let's hit enter. All right. So you only got a few a few on the list here. We're interested in this one, the VNC login. So that's uh, that's um, auxiliary scanner option number 49. So you'll say use 49. And now, once again, like I've showed you in other videos, we need we need to look at the options for this auxiliary scanner. So let's do show option. And then you'll see all the options here. In the required field, you, you have to set the option, right? So the first one, you know, the speed is set. Um, the, only, the only one we need to set right now is the R host. And that R host is the IP address of our Metasploitable 2 machine. Let's set R host 192.168.1.147. Then I'm going to do show options again. And then the second file that I'm going to pay, um, the second option I'm going to pay most attention to is the pass file, right? I want to do a dictionary attack. I want um, 
the VNC login scanner to run through a list of passwords um, that we can test each password to see if it's a valid password for that VNC login. So by default, this auxiliary way scanner already has a password list added. I mean, it's located user, share, metasploit, framework, data, word list, VNC password. So we're going to leave this. But if you wanted to use a password like your rockyou.txt password, which has 14 million different passwords in it, you, you can try that. But for this video purposes, we're going to use this default password list. All right, so at this point, you can either type in run or exploit. I'm going to type in exploit. And then, then it's going to start, the VNC scanner is going to start scanning and it's going to check each password in that list. And as you see, it ran through really quickly in this demo. Um, so it shows you here, login successful, the password is password, right? Um, so with that being said, if you, if you use VNC server, um, you know, make sure you use a strong password. Um, because you could be vulnerable to attacks like this, especially if you, your VNC server is you know, exposed to the Internet, like most of them are. Make sure you use a strong password and never use a common password that could be, in, that could be found in these simple word lists like VNC passwords or the rockyou.txt file. All right, so I hope you guys found this video interesting. And um, in the next video, we'll, we'll work on, um, we'll, we'll hack something different on Metasploitable 2. Remember, always have permission before you do any network pen testing. And if you like the video, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.